Darren Greenfield, defensive end, University of South Dakota. Billy Dave, man! Let's get it! Woo! I walked on here as a as a freshman and I had a decent high school career, but I was never the most athletic guy. I was never the most, the strongest, the fastest, stuff like that. I always had that determination to, uh, if I set my mind to something, I'm gonna do it. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to play at the highest level I could. And uh, this was the only place that really, really interested me because family's a huge deal to me. I like being able to, if something does happen, I like being able to go home. The amount of sacrifices my mom and dad have made is incredible. Brett Sampson, think he's gonna take my head off? Can't wait for that. Last spring, Coach Nielsen said for the next fall that I would be on scholarship. And that was one of the best feelings, one of the best days. It's just such a surreal feeling. Woo! Last season was, was a huge step in the right direction for the whole university, not only a football team, but everybody involved. I knew I was gonna be the, the starter. Me and me and Cam were gonna be the two defensive ends, but nothing was really locked up. I mean, we had guys that were injured, would be coming back at some points and stuff like that. And the competitive drive in me, I, I, I wanted to take it and I never wanted to look back. I wanted to be that starter for the rest of the year. And I, I think that drive that's in me just really propelled me into always wanting to make a play. And then as soon as I did, I wanted to make another one. And then that led to obviously first team all conference and all-American status and stuff like that, but it's really just that drive to want to make that stop on third down. I want to be that guy that can be depended on to, to make those big stops. He is set on the play as Darren Greenfield catches up with him. One thing we can take from last year and transition into this year is the leadership that we had on that team that really stuck out. We're working to build that leadership and some of the younger guys now start to build that leadership at a young age. So when they're thrown into that role as big time leaders, that they are, it's not such a shock to them. He'll figure it out. He's a, he's a new, he's a young one yet. He'll get it figured out. I don't want to just say that I stepped into a leadership role. I want, I want my teammates to see me as a leader. And I don't know if I've hundred percent earned that yet. But that's one of the things I'm working on. In the spring, it's really a good time to learn the mental parts like that. Because I mean, you have all spring and then you have a spring game, but it's it's really just 15 practices to work on yourself. Break the rust off, hit him. Red shirting's difficult. I mean, you're exchanging your worst year for your best year at the end. You give me one of these, I'm I'm not sure if I'm catching it. Sometimes the redshirt freshman, it's hard to understand that. You want to help, you want to you want to be the guy, but you just need to understand that it's a year to get stronger, get faster. Hey, coach! What's up, big dog? Let's go over there. That's one thing I like to do is have fun when even in practice and stuff like that. That's a windshield wiper. In between reps, just having fun. I mean, because practice isn't always like the fun part of football, but in order to get through it and have fun. You can hit me, I don't care. Just have fun in between reps and get through it. One, oh, two, three, hey, yo, yo, yo. Come on, baby. Come on now, let's get it going. Bring the energy. Be great, dude. Be great, dude. Be great. Be great.